dot, dot. Hmm. Here he stares at the poem. I mean, it passes before an, an, more than enough time for a finished reading. Um. Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. <laughs> Jinjo. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Do my Oz count this time since we're going through a second time? Like, would it even count? Is there anybody there with an awe counter anymore? <laughs> Are we done with the awe count? Because it's a new... I think we're doing the same stuff right now. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah? What do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be... I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I raise my voice? Really? I'm so sorry. Yuri buried her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that she's been s several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. Might make take Yuri a while to get used to the new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most wonderful thing I recognize in the new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. <clears throat> Lord, her voice is hard to do, consistently. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stamina is completely gone, and she, rounds, she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you could be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them or building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but all it comes to practice and learning example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else at the club gives valuable feedback. That's okay. That's can be a little bit, bi 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 bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I should be talking about people like that. Sorry, sorry it's fine. I'm not sure if yours is apologize yourself or me or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your old poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed to be a religious club. Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. See, this is all the same stuff. The last remaining street light have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I'm trying to read into these. I'm not very good at that kind of thing, though. Dot, dot, dot! Oh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it looks like it took you a long time to read. Ah! Well, I just don't read script very often. Actually, I actually think your handwriting is very pretty. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Sonna. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. Stop looking at me! I usually write. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild, something easier to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost, Yuri? Hooey, 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 hooey. Actually, this story isn't about ghosts at all, Kilblitz. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you didn't only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is- Ah! Tree racks as well. The poem is only being symbolic compared to a ghost. Lingerie, 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 lingering in the past, her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing but lingerie. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Jinjo, stop licking me! Who should I show my poem to next? Oh, gee, I don't freaking know. Maybe the wall. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Last stream I will be watching for a few months. 
moving on Friday to a place that is 800 miles away. Whoa! Looking forward to coming back then. Juggle Freak, thanks for the 10. Where the frick you moving to, bro? Eight hundred miles? That's a different country, right? Like where are you now and where are you moving? Okay, well oh, oh lord. Raid ahead, thanks for the follow. Back to Missouri from North Carolina, that's not three hundred miles or eight hundred miles? Is it? Whoa, Riggs Egg, Riggs Array, thanks for the follow. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, I wrote this for her, so she's gonna like it. Natsuki reads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving my opinion. Baka! Eh? Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. You, 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 you. In fact, I remember I always said I wanted to read your poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. You! Well, I wouldn't be more comfortable sharing my poem if, it you, if yours was really bad. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me ha, ha, go ha. Well, it's not like that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Dot, dot, dot. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Urk. Natsuki retorts get talk, caught in her throat. You, your soul. You just, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you are self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that to myself. Natsuki must have really hated me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she likes my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Grr, fine, I guess. Ugh. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school, I think, I everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people, you don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing still wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can really can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But there are nice things about... Blah, blah, but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight and on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. <sighs> Idiot. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I... Oh, Lord, here comes a scare. Here we go. <laughs> it's as if everyone is judging me. Yeah, there's the music being weird. Oh, Lord, here it comes. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they just being nice, there's no way my poems can sound up to theirs. This is a liturgical club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica's writing something in her notebook. <gasps> Monica's writing something in her notebook. She's altering the timeline again. It's all, like, I'm telling you, I know it's Monica. My eyes, my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their perspective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows fur in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively turns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is... Cute. You? Did you just completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? 
I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice, you freaking stupid, malnutrition piece of... Oh! Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Go die. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Killplex did too. So based on all that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... <laughs> Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Like Killplex. Which I haven't yet. But Killplex? <laughs> I'm gonna lick his finger soon, so... And Killplex like my poem too, you know. I'm gonna lick his finger. I'm totally gonna... He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize we were so invested in trying to press our new member here. Here comes the boobs! Patty bro! Eh? That's not... Sonna! Uh, woo woo woo! You... You're just... You stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous of Kibler's appreciation of my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No! If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do over the cutesy. And if I was full of myself, I'd pad my bra. Well, 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 you know what? I wasn't one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as the kill book started showing up. Oh, wait, they did. <laughs> Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own inse Taking out your own, own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch. Whoa, that Hey! Okay, that's new. Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much Are they gonna like kill each other right here? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much party mental age to comprehend. See? Just say uh, just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop pressing your- Oh my good lord, brother, seeking out actors. You think you can cut about your toxic privilege just by addressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Oh, she's a cutter. Dude, this is like, insane. Did she just kiss me cutting myself? Holy crap. I'm sorry, verbatim. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yo, what the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Killplex hear everything you really think. I'm sure it'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah uh, ah! Uh! Suddenly Yuri turns towards me as she just noticed I was standing here. Killplex! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. This is insane. They're adding this insanity to it. She started it. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's so good! Holy crap! Okay, now who do I side with? I mean, I sided, I sided with Yuri last time, so I'm gonna side with Yanatsuki. Even though I shouldn't. This is insane! What?! Not scary at all. Monica is so creepy. Um, hey, Kilplex, why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Okay, this is new. This is new. I mean, that whole conversation, like it went a little bit to the padded bra and then it ended there. That whole extension of, holy crap, that whole extension was like crazy. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out like this. They're gonna kill each other, aren't they? We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to get a little more assertive sometimes. Assertive? 
but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. It's her whole, it's like, that's it. Her whole plan was to get me. Monica's whole plan was to get Killplex. That's why she killed Sayori. She killed Sayori. You, you know she did. You, you got the hints that she killed her. I'd be happy to spend time with... Oh, I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. It, it That's that's it. I, like, I knew it. Like I said, Monica is killing everybody off so she can just have you for herself. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Dot, dot, dot. Tears in her eyes. Ooh, she quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, looks like they're done. This is insane that it's taking this twist. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth on her desk, her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did... Killplex. Killplex! Please don't hate me. Please! I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about it all tomorrow. Completely. Alright. So it's, it is fast forwarding. Like, I'm not going to have to go through the whole game now. Like, Natsuki's going to probably kill herself next. <laughs> anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to say stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I wait for you to be done. Dot dot dot. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take the responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you won't want me around for something, Yuri. It's so obvious that that's what it is. Monica wants kill place all to herself, and she's killing everybody to get me, and she's somehow resetting time lines to do it. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that. I just. I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Kilplex. It would be, it would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate. Holy! <gasps> what? Why? What? What did it say? Oh, the chills! There's those goosebumps. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going after Natsuki. So she's sunny and vibrant. Wait, what? Love and milk and uh, peaceful. What? You're not peaceful. Death, sadness, vitality, sensation, meager cage, nightgown. Vitality, I guess? No, come on, I'm targeting. I need to save it. I don't want to blow it because I'm targeting her. Hope. No! Piss off. Oh yeah, I forgot it starts over the whole thing when we reload. Okay, I'm targeting Natsuki. Why is Yuri now doing the cheerful stuff? She was all about the suicide and dark emo stuff. Okay, Papa, that's obviously Natsuki. That is very disturbing, by the way, because her father beats her. Rainbow, that's Natsuki. Playground would be Natsuki. Wonderful is Natsuki. No, Kawaii is Natsuki. Kawaii puppy's Natsuki. Family is probably Natsuki as well. Oh, that's so wrong. Candy's Natsuki. Beauty. Boop, boop. That's Natsuki. Kiss, lost pain, clouds, bed, embrace, mouse, excitement. Ooh, kiss maybe. Yeah, that's awesome. Hurt. That could be both of them, really. Like, it's so crazy when you... The first playthrough, they're just, like, stupid anime girls. And the second playthrough, you know all their, like, dark little disturbing secrets. <laughs> Kitty, that's Natsuki. Oh. Love. Pout. Essence. Feather. Feathers, Natsuki. Comfort rose. Fear, extraordinary vacation desire. I mean, Valentine. Headphones, romance, joy. Joy. No! That doesn't matter. I've got Natsuki in the bag. Socks. Climax. Amazing. Vanilla? Doki Doki. Bouncy. Pink. Bubbles. Ribbon. 
insane. Okay. Stop, please. Oh, gosh. Oh, holy crap. Oh, it gives me the chest of jolly lord. What? Mm. 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 Why did it do that? Oh, the freaking goosebumps, dude. Oh.